So you've got neck pain. I'm really sorry about it. It's neck pain's hard. You just can't find a position to comfort, and everything seems to hurt, especially you sleeping. Getting up from bed, just feeling so tight and stiff. Just nags. You just wish you could just cut your neck off. Oh, I just had a patient. This is his side bending left and right. Can you see the difference between him going left and him going right? Can you guess which side might hurt? Guess. It's the right side. Can you see how it's not as nice of a curve? See, it, skin creases tell a story. So those skin creases on the right, you see how much more it creases on the lower cervical? So there's, there's a lot of creasing, which means that that joint is moving a lot. When it goes left, there's more creases. The more that force is distributed, the less the joints are working, the less stress they have to take, the better they feel. The big crease is right where he feels. I put extra pressure and I really try to crank on his neck and he start to reproduce his trap pain. This can start to go between his shoulder blades and down, down the leg, down the leg, <laughs> that'd be crazy, down the arm. And that's because that joint is irritated all the time. The joint should be able to take this amount of stress. It should be able to take that amount of stress. So then we work on it. I work on it. You can work on it. I got something for you. Five things specifically for you that can help with the neck pain. It's all related. And then we're gonna look at why is it happening and what can you do to make it feel better? Welcome to the channel. My name's Kurt. I'm a physical therapist. I used to work in pro sports and now I run a practice helping people with chronic pain, chronic pain. More so what I like to say, people who've tried a lot of things but still don't have clarity and a plan and direction about, they, they, they still hurt. It breaks my heart to hear some of the things that people have given up and what they have to do in order to feel good. And I just want to simplify that for you because your body can heal. <laughs> your body can totally heal. If you have neck pain, there's, there's various different types. But the cut and dry rule with literally every joint, but specifically in the neck that I want to cover today for you, is when it hurts on the same side that you're moving. So I'm moving to my right. And if I have pain on the right, in my right trap, or a kink in my right neck, it's likely a joint. The reason why that joint's getting compressed and it's causing some symptoms, it's pinching, and it's causing some symptoms down the arm. Now we have to ask the question, why is it pinching? Which we'll get to. The other cut and dry rule that pairs with this is if I go right and I feel pain, tightness, irritation on the opposite side with which I'm moving, it's likely muscle. It's more often than not muscle. So again, Pain on the same side with which I'm moving, joint. Pain on the opposite side with which I'm moving, muscle. Now, the rest of this video is gonna talk about pain on the same side, so joint pain. Joint pain that's happening in the neck. Let's look at some anatomy first. Let's get Jerry. Why we like anatomy is because it's just, we all have the same thing. So no matter what your posture is like, we all have the same anatomy. All, that, all that's different is posture, with posture is the use of your anatomy. As you might have heard me say before, and if not, welcome. There's no bad posture. The only bad posture is the one you're always in. So if you're always sitting at your desk and you're always just in terrible posture, or you know what I'm seeing more often? You know what I'm seeing more often? People who look like they have good posture, but they still have pain. Why is that? Because there's no bad posture. People that look like they have good posture but they have actually started to reverse the curvature of their spines and they're just really flat. And their neck doesn't know what to do because their neck has nothing to anchor with in the thoracic spine. It's a whole different conversation. Today's just about neck. When we look at anatomy, it helps us understand like, okay, this is what I'm working on. This is what's irritated. This is what's causing my pain. Now I know why it's happening. Now I know what to work on. We have joints, seven cervical vertebrae. I like to break it down into upper cervical, where my fingers are, and lower cervical. Upper cervical can be tight, and thereby lower cervical feels the pain. It's the cause and effect relationship. So most of you are gonna have pain at C5, C6, C7, C5, C6, C7. These are the joints on the side. They're at an angle, 45 degree angle upwards, and they roll and slide on each other. And if they get st stuck and sticky, they can cause some pain. And that's that pinching in the neck that you're feeling. So anytime you go side bending to the right and you feel pain on the right, it's just those joints on the lower cervical spine that are getting 
squished too much. They're just getting punched in the face too often. And they're saying, hey, like, please stop doing that. What needs to happen is we need to get this joint more flexible. That's step one. So in order to do that, we take a Theracane. You've heard of this. It's just a loop-de-doop. And it's nice because it can give you leverage. You can do it while you're sitting at your desk. And what I want you to do is loop it around and you're gonna try to feel this. The first thing I want you to try to figure out is what is muscle versus what is joint? What is bone? Muscle is the squishy stuff and it, it, it feels like it's kind of going into you like a water balloon or like a mattress or something squishy. If you kind of move that muscle around and you can start to feel something that's a lot more rigid and doesn't move as well, it's, it's that bone. And what I want you to try to do is anchor on that bone and you're trying to, see what my finger is doing, you're trying to pull on that bone and pull it forward. What a lot of physical therapists will start to say is it's like you have a drawer that's loose in your dresser, it's just off track, it's just a little sticky. What you need to do is just kind of jiggle it loose and then it starts moving nice and smoothly again. That's what we're looking for here, try to smoothen up that joint. And if I had the question, if I were you, I would say, okay, why did this get stiff in the first place? If you didn't have that question, that's all right, but you will eventually. The, the, the answer typically, there's two parts. It's either there's an issue below or there's an issue above. We like to try to address both, and I'm gonna give you ways to address both today. But let's look at above first, because more often than not, it's above. A lot of times people with neck pain that pinches, they also have headaches. Different conversation, different video, but the headache muscles are called your suboccipitals. Right below here, sub, below, occipital. This is your occipital bone. So below your occipital bone are all these suboccipitals that connect to joints one and two, which is where most of your movement actually comes from. The head on vertebral one is what does nodding and what does side to side nodding. So up and down nodding and side to side nodding. Vertebra one and vertebra two is what does like 70% of your rotation. And if a lot of your rotation is limited in that direction because the muscles called your suboccipitals are tight, you're gonna get more and more rotation from the lower cervical spine, which just is not built to do as much rotation. It still is built for rotation, but it's not built to do all the rotation. That's how your range of motion goes from 90 degrees, what it should be, to 60 degrees. I'm driving, I'm driving like a crazy person and I, I start to turn, I'm like, I, that's all I got. Let me turn my whole body. It's because the lower cervical spine is stiff, as well as the upper cervical spine is muscles are tight. So we can loosen these upper cervical muscles. We use the Theracan again, you flip it around, you dig the, the, the loop-de-doop into your shoulder, into like your pec muscle. You get the pointy thing right underneath your skull bone and you just push, just push. Use that left hand to drive some angular push forcing downwards, which pushes the cane into your head and use your right hand to kind of keep it nice and stable. What I'm looking for is any sort of discomfort up into the head. Once you start to get familiar with the position and the movement, then you start to move that head around, tuck that chin, move that chin forwards and backwards, move the head side to side, tilt back and forth, anything you can do to try to stimulate the suboccipitals to loosen those. So, so far we've tried to loosen the joint. You dig into that joint, dig down into the joint, move it around, move your head around, dig down into the joint, pull, 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 pull. And I want you to try to move that head around, tuck the chin, chin forward, chin backward, while you're keeping that theracane in, 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 in to the joint. What you're trying to do is move it around. What we say, motion is lotion. This is what a PT does when they're working on your neck. This is what a chiropractor does when he adjusts your neck. You're just trying to get that joint more and more flexible. If you don't have a theracane, you can use your fingers. You can also use a ball. The Theracane's the easiest though, just because it uses leverage. And I put a link in the description if you want to buy one. It's like, I don't know, eight bucks, 10 bucks, I'm not sure. And then you move it all the way up to the muscles behind your skull, your suboccipitals. And you try to massage those so this can get more flexible because we need our head to rotate more through the upper cervical joints and less through the lower cervical joint. All right, I started to realize that this video, sorry about all the noise. 
I started to realize that this video gets really dense because I start to talk about shoulder positions, like my favorite rotator cuff exercise, my favorite scapula exercise, serratus anterior, and then how to lengthen out your lats so that you have better overhead range of motion. I talked about that in this video, and then I started to realize this is really dense, this is really long. So let's make it a separate video. So watch this video if you care more about like shoulder position, how to get your rotator cuff working, how to get your straightest working, but it will help your neck. Cause like, why is your neck working so hard? Why is that joint get pinching? Cause your shoulder's not working now. Cause your range of motion isn't that great. And that creates more creasing as you start to go up overhead. It's all connected. I think you probably know that. And then watch this video right here, maybe right here. Watch this video if you want to like a little sleeping trick when you are sleeping to try to get your neck out of that crinking position because I don't care about pillow. There's so many pillows. Just find the one that works for you. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Have a good day. Bye. Oh.